All right, the Floribama Burger. No, not the Floribama, it's like Coastal, which is the same people that own the Floribama and the Yacht Club and Skunk Gully and like a gazillion other restaurants. I'll tell you a little background on these guys. They know restaurants. This is their newest restaurant, and I don't think, to me, there's nothing I've seen like this up high. You're ever looking, you're right on the goal. It's a thick burger. I feel like you're a thick burger guy. I am. I'm normally a smash burger, but okay, what do we got on this burger? This is my kind of burger. Certified Angus beef, white cheddar, cherry smoked bacon, caramelized chili onions, odd mushroom, demi glaze, tomato, dill pickle chips, green leaf lettuce, bacon egg oil. I got mine without uh, cheese. Without cheese? You didn't yeah. mine as cheese? No, I didn't. I just wanted to take the burger. They're, they're All right, we got a Chamber of Commerce day. And if you remember from the last video with Jose, he is brutally honest. And I was like, mm -hmm. hey, these guys are buddies of mine, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about being honest here. That's good flavor, Jay. It's I beefy. really, really like the mushrooms. Mine's the mushrooms. cooked I'm a perfectly. Mushroom, so is mine. Just like a little pink. I got the Coastal Colada. That's my beverage today. That's a non-frozen pina colada. Tito's original vodka, which I've never, I didn't know that was a colada item. Blue chair bakey, lime rum, pineapple juice. Do you know what mine's me of? Coconut rum and pineapple juice. Except I think it's strong. It's a sloppy burger. The bacon, it is a sloppy burger. The bacon is good. The buns is tough. The bottom's a little tough. So I've got a theory on the buns. I think you get fresher buns in the summertime because they're turning over the buns more. But that being said, I also think it could just been toasted more right. than Right. But all their other restaurants I've eaten there, it's been a solid eight burger. Mm -hmm. I think their fries are like a five. They're just standard fries. You are a bun guy though. I think that brings down my my rating because of the hardness of the bun on the bottom. The juiciness of the burger. Softness in the, the bun. bun. Yeah, I've about devoured this whole thing. It's got a char grill flavor. This would be a nine, nine and a half to me. Whoa. I would knock it down to an eight and a half to nine. Did you get pickles on yours? I did. What did you think about those pickles? I think they're good. They're good pickles. They're really good. I savor mine more than you do. You go yours. I'm a back in there. Yeah. I agree with you on the bun. That last yeah. bite was on the end. It, it, center bite's the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, the meat was good mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked. Pickles, onions, caramelized onions. The, Mushrooms, the cheese, all top quality. Really like the way the beef is cooked. I think it was cooked perfect. Would you come back and get this burger? Yeah, I would. Uh, we do okay. Buns were a little hard, but everything else, that was a great burger. Would you give it eight five? I'll give it an eight five to a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine. I probably would do a, another quarter point for a soft bun. Hardly anybody gets a nine. Flavor's excellent. Flavor's excellent. excellent. Bacon was great. The ratios are all right. The mushrooms. Yeah. Fantastic. The onions, perfect. Really, really good. That. Thank you guys Thank so God. much. You bet. No pressure to have their person here filming. <laughs> <laughs> We're filming. The manager's here. I'm about to bring out the chef. I grew up with one of the owners, and my son has a crush on the chef's daughter. <laughs> like, no shit. They were doing a, with the manger scene or whatever for, for church, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and like the only way that he would, like he was Joseph, which was a major risk component. Consider last year he bailed at the last minute and just ran off stage. The only way he would do it is if the chef's daughter was married. So if he doesn't marry Charlotte, he can blame it on me and my burger, burger review, me and you. Hey, did you see the burger review at my house? The girls all reviewed my burger. Basically, they roasted me. I mean, I thought it was a damn good burger, and they were like yeah. complaining that I over buttered the bread. I ain't know how I feel. There was no pressure <laughs> consider I control their paychecks. Actually, my wife does. I was going to say, be careful, dude. That's a big statement on camera, Dan. <laughs> you know I'm not the, Seems like we know you're not the boss. The secret sauce for success here. Everything that, that y'all do here is y'all just go out and find the very best people and then hire them. It's a great model. <laughs> it is. You're really good. What's it take? That's what you get with me. When you hire me to do our real estate, you get the very best. See? I hire the very best. And the very best find you what? to sell their houses. <laughs> <laughs>